Right over the river, the river. <laughs> nigga, I gotta be safe. Gotcha. This is sports talk. Point about the Pro Football Hall of Fame being too easy to get into now. You're damn right he does, without question. <laughs> um, and Eli Manning is the latest piece of evidence about that. Um, Very disrespectful, Stephen A. <laughs> Can we be real? The fact of the matter is, listen up, I'll educate you. Eli Manning is a two-time Super Bowl champion. I appreciate that. Two Super Bowl MVPs. One could easily argue that the defense deserved it, but that's neither here nor there. He's never thrown for 300 yards, never scored more than 21 points in the Super Bowl, but that's neither here nor there. Here's the reality, ladies. The reality is, he gonna get in because he won not one, but two Super Bowls. And had two Super Bowl MVPs. He's going to get in because of that on his resume. Yeah, he finished his career 500. But he's going to get in because that's on his resume. That's what they're going to go based off of. And who he beat in the Super Bowl. He beat the Patriots. So he's going to get in off of that because that's on his resume. That's what's going to help him to get into the Hall of Fame. And gentlemen, sit back and close your eyes and absorb what I'm about to tell you. Career-wise, he completed 60% of his passes. Career-wise, his record was 117 and 117. He led the league in interceptions three times. He doesn't even have a two-to-one touchdown to interception ratio. At no time. At no time. In the history of his career, was he considered a top five quarterback? Now, I'm saying to you this. Eli Manning deserves our respect. He is an Iron Man. If you are a New Yorker, love him, revere him, and all of that other stuff. But when we talk about Hall of Famers, remember what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Joe Montanas. We're talking about the Dan Marinos. We're talking about, I'm talk, we're talking about, even to go back to the days, the Fran Tarkinans, the Roger Starbucks of the world, the Terry Bradshaws of the world and others. What I'm saying to you, even Peyton Manning, the Tom Brady's, the Drew Brees, all of this stuff, when you look at his record, even his record, it's a career 500 record. He missed the playoffs six times as it don't matter if he missed it six times. It don't matter. As long as he had that Super Bowl on his resume, it'd be players that don't want to get Super Bowls still make it. Because off of what they did in the league and did some records. But as long as he had that Super Bowl on his resume, he don't have to argue. Those Super Bowls do the talking for him. That's all he need to get in. Yeah, he had an up and down career, but as long as he have that, that's a big case for him. Seven years, seven times in nine years, okay? I mean, come on. All right, look, okay, you're, you're, stop. Stop I, instead of, I, I could give, I could sit here and I will quickly to refute this, um, give you Eli like the pro-Eli argument, but that's not really what this is about to me. Like, Eli Manning is the third longest Ironman streak in the history of football. That means you're valuable or you wouldn't be put in those games. He threw, he threw under bat in a bad weather st Oh, you, I let you speak. I said, uh, be quiet. I don't <laughs> So that affects stats. He did not usually have offensive weapons. That affects stats. If you're arguing Eli, I know he's right on the line. Either he's right below it or right above it. We can argue that. But we can agree it's borderline. There is a borderline. Dion saying the border has to be raised. Okay, Dion, but what you want? Eight people in the Hall of Fame? Because there aren't a lot to begin with. <laughs> First of all, this, 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 whole, this whole Eli Manning conversation about the Hall of Fame, to me, it falls on deaf ears to me. I played against him. Eli was a great player, not a Hall of Famer. That's, that's just what it boils down to. Like, great player, not a Hall of Famer. That ain't me hating. 
I never you stepped on, on, I never I never stepped on the field against Eli Manning, who by the way I played in college and said this dude is a Hall of Famer. Never. I had the chance to play with Tara Owens. That's a Hall of Famer. There is a difference when it comes to when we have a conversation about the Hall of Famer. That's what Dion is saying. Dion ain't saying let's not put guys in the Hall of Fame. It don't matter what you say. His resume is what he has on there. He's going to get in there because he haven't missed no games. Yeah, he got benched this year, but he haven't got hurt his whole career. He been an Iron Man all through, so he was Mr. Reliable for them. So his resume is going to do the speaking for him. Yeah, we know he finished the season, you know, 500. Yeah, he's on a borderline, but he's going to get in. It don't matter how y'all feel about it, but as long as he tucked down the Patriots twice in the big moments, and that's what they're going to go off of. The big moments he had. He did it in the big game against a dynasty. And tucked him down. He tucked Goliath down. And he did it twice. Not once. Twice. And won two championships against them. But if we come to a year where it's no Hall of Famers, then don't put anybody in the Hall of Fame. There is a different level to what you need to be in order to be remembered as the greatest to ever do it. That's what the Hall of Fame is well, trying to I, I understand the one peak. of the greatest to I ever do it. I understand the peak value argument. Usually I'm on that side. Your peak has to be elite. And you're arguing that Eli's peak wasn't elite until it mattered but most. Max, we then, he was, out, then he was like the most elite trophies. ever, right? We're not giving off trophies for the Hall of Fame because you were good. Yeah, let me remind you of this, Max. Let me, re hold 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 let me remind you of something, Max. You love, you love Harrison. You know, the hitman for the Steelers. You know, he's been on this show. Sure. You loved him, right? Remember when Harrison made news because he took the participation award from his son? Remember that? And he said, this ain't about no damn participation. You that's got what the, you do. You got, and that's so what glad. you do. I'm so glad and that's you what said that. Doing. I'm so that's glad you, you said that. Eli Manning, he something. started. Understand and he played. Something. And he got, if that don't make you a Hall of Famer. If you are a starting, I'll change the subject Super to Bowl NBA. Super MVPs do two against the Patriots. I'll, I'll. The guy to see it's the it's Patriots. It's that's what I'm saying. That's what they're going to do. They're going to look at who you play. In the championship games to win those. He might be getting there because of his last name. Yes, he was a support quarterback. Yes, he won an elite quarterback. Yeah, he missed some playoffs. Yeah, he led the lead in interceptions. But the rings what matters. And that's what's going to help him. It's all a matter of what you accomplish in this league. One time you did it in moments. He did. He played good in them big moments. Super Bowl MVP. Nick Who got him there? Hey, did you know? Uh, did you know? Do you hear the crowd? What do you all think? This Show Eli some. Do you hear them? I hear them. They don't believe you. Come on, in Miami. Come on, come on. In Miami. In Miami, right here, when LeBron James and D-Wade was winning championships, there were other starters. Man, respect to them. The Mario Chalmers of the world. The, the Udonis Haslam's of the world. I'd like to make I'm saying they, they can play. They can play. Please don't get me wrong. They can play. But everybody that played and everybody that started, that don't make I'm you a Hall of Fame. to that right now. Hold on. Hold on. Responding. Okay. If, let's change it to the NBA for a second. What you're missing is there is value in just being able to play at a starting level in the NFL or NBA. So let's go to basketball because you're bringing up these dudes. If you're a starting point guard for 15 years in the NBA, I don't care if in any one season you were an elite. You're a damn good player. You're able to start for that long. That's a lot of value, right? Okay, that's a tough position to start at. If in addition to that, you were an Iron Man, you played 82 games a year every single year, that's even better because that's availability. If in addition to that, 
you had playoff runs, even if it's only two, where you were lights out, like Sam Cassell or someone like that. People make the argument, is he? But if you want two championships as the captain, as 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 Chauncey Billups, if he had another one on top of that, like you need a quarterback to get to the playoff. You need a quarterback to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, they had a good defense, but you need that guy to be, at least play a little high level to help you win those championships. He made plays in the Super Bowl. When they almost had him on the ground, he found a way to get out of there and make a throw. And so Tyree caught it, the football on his helmet, but when I hooked on that football, they weren't just going to get those. He played at the right time when he counts. That's the credit you can give him. Yeah, he ain't the, he ain't the guy that you look at and say that's a Hall of Famer, but it's just what he did at the biggest moments, and he did it. To get them Giants over the hump to win a championship when he was at the quarterback hand in the, uh, the 2000s. He took care of business. That's all that matters. You need a quarterback to get you there. You start to go, okay, this is a borderline case because there is value in being good enough to start a quarterback for 15 years. There is value in a consecutive game streak, and there's a lot of value in bringing two championships. Number one. Ball number one. That still number one. make you a Hall of Famer. It doesn't. It does I don't not. understand what you're missing. The Hall of Fame is an individual award. You are surrounding Eli Manning with these things that he did. Honestly, he did. But, Max, come on. You've been covering sports for too long to say that Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer. Is Chauncey Billups a Hall of Famer? No. If he won another finals okay. MVP, if he had two, would he be a Hall of Famer? Time. No. No. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports. The best stuff in the shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe.